I, 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 I know it's gonna sound weird, but I really liked it because it showed just how messed up this world is. That even those who were bad and trying to do good still accidentally do things. You know, Dawn accidentally shooting Beth and that pretty much causing the whole trajectory of this group's plan changing is what this world is. You know, even when you try to do right, it goes wrong. Even when there's a solid plan, it falls apart. I, I like the suddenness of it because it's just, that happens in real life. But Beth going and stabbing her with the scissors. Yeah, you know, I think we were talking about that quite a bit. And I think she was just tired of taking L's. Like she couldn't take one more loss. And it was just like, even if this gets me killed, I, I need to get a win in here. I need to get a W somehow. Um, but then not realizing that you getting that personal W is going to be a big L for everybody else. You know, it's that's just the way this world is. And that's what's so great about this show. That even when things probably should go right, they go wrong. Makes sense. Sir? How did your character feel when he died? Hey. Lots of pain. Lots and lots and lots of pain. So, do you feel sad when Nicholas left him there? That's more anger. That's a lot more, you suck. You suck. You really suck for this, and ow, this hurts. <laughs> so that's pretty, it's as simple as it gets. What is it like to watch that scene? Um, I think, I mean, to me it's been awesome. It's like, it's been really awesome watching it. That scene, yeah. Yeah, because I know the amount of work we put into it. I know how difficult it was to shoot. I think Michael, uh, who's Nicholas, uh, is one of the most courageous actors I've ever worked with. Because he took on a role in a scene that he knew would be hated. And while we shot it, I still completely understood his intention. Like, I still felt for this guy if he was afraid to die this way. Yeah. Like, it's a terrible way to die. Yeah. And I completely, like, while we were shooting the scene, we were shooting his coverage, and I turned around and I was like, I get it. Like, you made this work. You being a coward works. Like, you completely believe that he's just terrified. Like, he's not just some guy who doesn't care. He's terrified. So, finding a way to do that, to make that work, in the midst of a terrible scene is incredibly hard as an actor to do. So when I watch it, it all makes sense. To have that scene make complete sense all the way through. Uh, they got in there, there was no other way out. This guy was terrified and had to find a way out with these two guys who've been in these situations before now as scared, one willing to sacrifice himself. It can make complete sense. You know, it, that could have gone wrong. So it's a really cool episode for me to watch. Awesome. Over here, hi. So do you think that they will bring Noah back as a walker? Um, probably not. Mainly because I don't think he has legs. Um, after his face gets ripped open, I imagine that they just went to town on him. Uh, there's not much of Noah left, though. No. Um, uh, yeah, I think, you know, possibly, and this is not me sharing anything that I actually know, because I don't know anything. Uh, possibly you may see how that affects Lynn in some kind of like mental flashback or something like that. But outside of that, I don't think you're, you're not going to see much of Noah ever again. No, that's it. Oh. <laughs> um, would you like to play a zombie? No, that was the one thing I didn't want to do. How come? I just didn't. When doing what we do, we like kind of have to fall in love with the people that we play. I didn't want to see him kind of take that turn. I think that's one thing that, in this world, all these people hate the most. You know, you hate turning. You hate what that does to people and how that then turns into a weapon. I think everybody knows that if you turn, you turn into a weapon against the people you love. So that was the one thing I kind of didn't want to do. And I'd always like, the way I'd always imagined Noah dying was some kind of sacrificial thing or taking his own life. And that's what's so creepy about zombie movies is yeah. the people you used to love are trying to eat your brain. Yeah, so that's, that's why I kind of didn't want 
that to happen because it, you know, a lot of people died when Noah came into the mix. I didn't want somebody else to die because he turned and then he accidentally bit somebody and oh my god, now everyone's dead and it's his fault, he was just here for nine episodes. You know, I, I was not looking forward to that. I 